Your commute is about to cost more Sunday. MTA's fares are going up on trips from everything from subways and buses to the Long Island Railroad and Metro North. CBS News Ania Maldonado has more on what you need to know. A mixed bag of reactions to the new price will cost New Yorkers to ride MTA subways, buses, and commuter railroads. Is it fair? I mean, cost of fuel, cost of electricity, everything has increased. I take the train like three days a week, and it's still expensive for me. Starting on Sunday, the base fare for subways and buses will rise 15 cents from 2.75 to 2.90. A seven-day ticket goes up one dollar to 34 bucks. A 30-day unlimited metro card increases by five dollars, so you'll be paying 132. And the express bus fare increases from 6.75 to seven dollars. The LIRR and Metro North passengers will also feel the pinch as monthly and weekly tickets are increasing up to 4.5 percent across both railroads. The MTA board voted unanimously for the hikes last month, calling them reasonable and means to keep up with inflation. Adding that the additional revenue will fund operational costs such as wage increases for workers. Some riders we spoke to this morning hope to see the funds put to work ASAP. I would love to like have the MTA have more money to spend on projects and improving like existing infrastructure. So it seems okay to me. They're doing it, they say, um, for the fair beaters, but that's not going to help anything even when the fair goes up. While others are more concerned about their everyday expense increasing. I think it's very unreasonable right now for me. It's a little high now, so it's kind of uncomfortable for the people that ride every day trying to get to work. Now, the MTA did raise fares back in 2019, but that only affected monthly and weekly metro cards. It has not raised base fares for subways and trains since 2015. From the Upper West Side, Zinnia Maldonado, CBS 2 News.